Welcome to Salient Training's Job Aid videos. This video will show you how to configure multiple stream recording using OnVIF. Multi streaming support is an important function in modern surveillance systems. Most cameras support using multiple simultaneous streams for efficiency and flexibility. In complete view, you can use a low resolution, low frame rate stream for normal continuous recording and shift to higher frame rate, high resolution streams when motion or an alarm is detected. Multi stream support helps save on storage space since you don't need to record high resolution, high frame rate video when nothing is happening, but you'll be recording that high quality video when something does. In complete view, taking advantage of multi stream recording can only be done using the OnVIF driver. So let's get started. Now there's four basic steps to setting up multi-stream recording with CompleteView and OnVIF cameras. The first is to configure the different streaming profiles on your cameras. Next, you configure CompleteView to record those separate streams. Then we assign that camera to a schedule that contains the type of recording we plan to multi-stream using any combination of continuous, motion, or alarm recording. And finally, we'll set up our camera events recording triggers. Let's move on with the first step and we'll set up an example recording profile. All right, to configure your OnVIF profile, open up your camera configuration website and log into the camera. Now keep in mind that different manufacturers have different interfaces for camera configuration, so check the documentation for your camera for specific information on where and how to configure your video profiles. The camera I am using is a Hanwha Tech one, and in this interface, I just need to select the settings icon, and the default page goes to my video profiles, which is located in the basic configuration section. Here you can see I have a list of currently configured profiles. There were three standard profiles built into the camera, one for Motion JPEG, an H.264 profile, which was set as the default, and I had another for H.265. I created two profiles, one for low resolution, low frame rate continuous recording, and another at a higher resolution, higher frame rate for alarm recording. While we're here, we're gonna create another profile for motion recording. To create this new profile, start by selecting Add, and then give your profile a name. Once you've named it, you can select your codec from the available list. I'm gonna leave mine at H.264. Then you can set your resolution. You can see all the different resolutions that are available for this camera. I'm gonna leave mine at the 1080p. And then I'll change my frame rate. I'm going to select a frame rate of 15, but you can go all the way down to any frame you want or all the way up to 30 is the max. When I select 15, it will automatically adjust my GOV length to be twice the frame rate. And that's it for a basic configuration. You can see that there's a lot of other settings available for different situations. For more information on these settings, the camera documentation is really helpful. This camera contains a dynamic help link that will explain what each profile does and what each setting accomplishes. Once you have everything configured for your profile in the camera, you can exit the browser, log into CompleteView as an administrator, and there we'll set up the multi-stream recording, assign this camera to the correct schedule, and configure CompleteView's response to the camera-generated events. All right, once you've logged into CompleteView, and before we start on the configuration changes, I want to take a look at the available schedules to make sure there's one created for recording continuous motion and alarm video. To do that, I'll select the configure module, and under the recording server section in the navigation panel, I'll find my recording server, and I'm going to look for the schedule section. When I expand the schedule section, I'll see a list of all my available schedules. And here I'm going to give you a Salient Systems best practices tip. Whenever you create a schedule, 
always name it according to the type of recording it does. This makes identifying schedules and making correct camera assignments easy and leaves out the guesswork of trying to figure out what Schedule 6, Schedule 7, Schedule 8, or Schedule 9 does. When I look at my list, I should know by the name of each schedule exactly what type of recording that schedule does. I have a schedule named CMA, which is my abbreviation for Continuous Motion and Alarm Recording. As indicated by the name, you can see that this schedule is configured for continuous motion and alarm recording types Sunday through Saturday, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Since we're configuring a camera for multiple streams using continuous motion alarm recording, this will be the schedule I will assign to my camera. So now that we've verified that we have the correct type of schedule available, Let's move on to setting up our multi-stream camera configuration. First, select the camera from your camera list under the recording server section of the navigation pane. This will open up the individual camera tabs and you wanna make sure that you're on the connect tab. Then verify that the camera you've selected is using an OnVIF driver, which is required for multi-stream recording. You can see the assigned driver in the camera information bar at the top of the window. If the camera was added with a named driver, you can easily switch it here to OnVIF by using the drop down menus, selecting generic from the list, and then selecting OnVIF from the available options. If you do switch your driver, make sure that you save those configuration changes before moving on. Now with an OnVIF driver, You'll also see in the OnVIF settings that you have a list of all of your different profiles. In this example, I'll be setting up multi-stream recording utilizing three separate streams from the camera, and we'll pick those streams from the OnVIF settings panel. In the OnVIF settings panel, you'll see all the different profiles that were created in the camera. And that H.264, one of those default ones from the camera, is being used as the primary stream. We're going to start our config by changing the primary stream from the default to our low resolution stream. To do this, find the set as column and use the drop down menu to change the current primary stream to none. Then locate your new stream. Again, I'm using the low resolution continuous stream at three frames per second, and I'm going to set that as my primary stream. Next, I need to set my secondary streams. All right, I'm going to use the HR motion or high res motion to be my first secondary profile. To change that, locate the media profile you want in the list, go over to the set as column, use the drop down, and we're going to switch that to secondary. Next, we're going to do the same thing using that high res alarm stream that we created and I'll set that to secondary as well. Now what you'll see in your list is that you have one primary stream, secondary stream, and another secondary stream. When this is complete, we're gonna move on to configuring our recording types in the Media Properties panel. Now at the top right of the Media Properties panel, you'll see a drop down that indicates the stream that you're currently adjusting. Right now we're on the primary and you can see we have our secondary one and secondary two in the list as well. On the primary stream, that's our low res continuous recording. So what we wanna do on the recording types is deselect alarm and motion type recording, leave continuous selected. Then we're gonna move up to the top into our drop down, switch to the secondary stream and set that one for motion recording. And then we're going to go to our second secondary stream and set that for alarm recording. Once we have our primary, secondary one, and secondary two streams set for the correct recording type, we need to adjust our schedule to one that contains those three types of recording. We can do that right from the connect panel and up in the camera ID bar here, we can go to the schedule column, 
use the drop down, deselect the continuous motion schedule that it's assigned to, and we will assign this camera to the continuous motion and alarm recording schedule. Select Done. And then, as always, remember to save your configuration. Our final stop on this configuration is setting up our camera events to trigger our motion and alarm recording on these separate streams. To do this, select the Events tab for the camera. Now for this demo, I'm using two different camera analytics that I've already configured on this Hanwha Tequin camera, motion detection and face detection. So I'm gonna scroll through the list and I'm looking for those analytics and here I can see my motion detection and face detection. What I'm doing here is telling CompleteView how to respond to these events from the camera when they're received. When the recording trigger in this column on the right is set to none, there's no response from complete view when the event comes in. When I change the recording trigger here from none to motion start, when a motion event comes in, it tells the server that this has occurred, and with the motion start recording trigger, it will begin recording motion video. I could do the same for the face detection, but I can also set that to alarm. So whenever motion is detected, I'll be recording motion stream. And when a face is detected from the camera, I'll be recording the alarm stream. At all other times, I'll be recording that low frame rate, low resolution continuous. Once these events are configured, remember to save your configuration. Now this video is using two specific examples of onboard camera analytics as the trigger for recording different streams. But there are multiple different ways that this can be accomplished. In addition to camera analytics, you can set up triggers where one camera could detect motion or an alarm and it triggers a different camera to record motion or alarm. You can use events generated from an access control system to trigger recording. And when complete use integration with analytic software like Iron Young's Video, you can trigger specific recording types on a wide array of different analytics. But that's the basics for configuring multi-stream recording on a single camera. If you found this video helpful, follow us for more job aid and user training videos. If you have an idea for a future video, let us know by sending an email to training at saliencesys.com. Thanks for watching.